guys, it's Mara. Um, today I want to talk to you about rapid urine drug screens. So the instrument that we use is called the MedTox um, scan or scanner or something like that. Yeah, MedTox scan. Um, there's a bunch of different ones that are for rapid urine drug screens in a hospital setting or clinic or wherever you are. Um, this is what our little cartridge looks like. You guys can see. Um, so basically, these rapid urine drug screens, or if you come into the ER, um, a physician is suspicious that you're drug seeking, or um, just kind of trying to figure out what's wrong with you, figure out if you're on some different uh, drugs, and they may run this drug screen. Now, if you are brought in under, uh, like the cops brought you in, then they can use this kind of information um, against you, but other than that, they're not going to arrest you um, if you come to the hospital for treatment, um, for being ill or whatever, but they do want to sometimes run these tests to see what's going on, what kind of stuff you're on. So the drugs that they would test for, um, this specific test, it's MedTox, um, is THC, PCP, cocaine, methamphetamine, amphetamine, opiate, benzos, tricyclic antidepressants, methadone, barbiturates, oxy, and PPX and BUP, or buprenorphine. I'm not sure if I said that right. But, um, so those are a few, that's the drugs that this drug screen tests for. There's other ones that may have a few less, um, like the PPX and the BUP are a little less um, common in barbiturates are not usually on all the drug screens but this one is a what 13 13 drugs um, so I'm going to show you guys what the cartridge looks like So here is the cartridge, like I said, this is Mentox. Um, this little barcode is what the analyzer reads to know like that cartridge goes with um, that test. So here are the sample wells. So what we do is we add 75 microliters of urine, it's ran off of urine. Um, you can also run drug screens off of serum. Um, but this is just a quick and easier way to do it. So we'll add 75 microliters with a pipette um, to each sample well, and then you can start the analyzer, um, put in your information, scan the barcode of the patient, um, and then put it in, and it will migrate inside of the instrument. And then once the 10 minutes are up, um, then it will read the lines. And so there will be a control line here at the top, which will go on each one all the way across and then there are certain places on the migration strip where if the patient is positive for a drug then there will be no line so if the drug is in the patient's urine it will bind with the um, antibodies or the antigens then it won't migrate and so the line won't be there but if the patient does not have the drug in their urine, um, then it won't it won't bind, and then it will the line it'll migrate, and then it'll make a line. So it will visually detect the absence or presence of a line. And like I said, if there is a line there, then it will be negative for that drug. And then there will be a printout, and it will print out um, what's positive and what's negative. So I'll show you guys a clip here and what that looks like. and this is after QC was run. You can see the controls are checked for validity um, and that would be the negative control and here's the positive control, all positives. Um, here's the QC devices. So here's the positive. You can see it has the control line but then the test lines are the absence of uh, a line is positive for the drug. 
And then here are all the lines that are just enough to go um, negative, so you don't want to have them too dark. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out my other urine drug screen video, I'll put it in here. Um, it is the one post-accident pre-employment drug uh, test, which is a little different. Um, it's done in a cup that already has the migration strips on the side of it, and it'll bring up the urine from the actual sample cup that the uh, patient or person will go in. And uh, yeah, so check out that video if you want to or some of my other lab videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.